Welcome to my channel French Pulse. Let's enjoy learning French. Today we're going to learn Mettez au temps convenable with a few tenses. This is a quick recap on the indicators of some tenses. Let's start with present tense. Some of the indicators are maintenant, actuellement. Let's take an example. Il prend son dîner maintenant. What is he doing now? He's taking his dinner. So maintenant or maintenant is a clue, an indicator for present tense. Let's go to future proche. Future proche is the near future. Let's take a few indicators. Dans le short time, dans quelques minutes, dans quelques instants, etc. Bientôt and others. Let's take a few examples. Dans une heure, mon ami va aller au marché. In an hour, my friend is going to go to the market. So, how do we conjugate future prosh? It's aller in present tense plus infinitive of the main verb. You can see the infinitive of the main verb. Infinitive means unconjugated form. Let's take another example. Piento means soon. Il mange de la soup. Il va manger. He's going to eat some soup. So, il va manger de la soup. Future sample. That is a future tense. Let's look at some indicators. Demain, tomorrow. Mois prochain, next month. Dans plus long time will be future sample. And après plus noun will also be future sample. Let's take a few examples. Dans trois mois, nous écrirons notre examen. In three months, we're going to write our exams. So, dans plus long time will be future sample. Lundi prochain, l'examen commencera. Next Monday, exams will start. So, commencera. Now, how do we conjugate future sample? Please refer to my videos where I have explained in details. For regular verbs, we take full infinitive plus ending A-I-A-S-A-O-N-S-E-Z-O-N-T. And for irregular verbs, we have the irregular stem or the base plus the same endings. Now we go to another example. Après followed by noun. Après mon travail will be future sample also. So it becomes j'irai chez mon ami. After my work, I'm going to go to my friend's place. We go to future anterior. Future anterior is used to express when two actions are taking place in the future. The first action will take future anterior and the second action will take future sampler or imperative. So, when you may use future anterior, we just now found out. But what are my indicators? It will be conjunction of time. Conjunction of time, let's take a few examples like con losca, which means when. Ositoka, deka means as soon as. Losca, we've said already. Apreka means after. So, these conjunction of time indicates that the action takes place one after the other. So, where we have deka, let's take an example. What's the formation of future anterior before we go to the example? Formation is avoir un être in future sample plus past participle. Right? So, deka ma fi rentre de l'école, nous verrons enfin. So, what is this? As soon as my daughter returns from school, we will watch a film. So, so, once she would have returned from school, so it's going to be sera rentre. Why are we using sera? We're using the verb etra as auxiliary because rentre is a verb that takes etra as auxiliary form. And with etra, we must have an agreement with the subject pronoun. So, next one. Lorsque vous comprendre cette leçon, expliquez-la moi. So, as soon as or when you will have understood the lesson, explain it to me. So when you would have understood the lesson, explain it to me. So here what happens, we can have the first action in future will be future anterior. The second action will be future sample as you can see here. Or the second action could also be, the second verb could also be an imperative if there is no subject pronoun. Passe composé. Passé composé is another compound tense where we use auxiliary of avoir and être in present tense plus past participle. What are my indicators? Hier, l'année dernière, etc. Let's take an example. 
yes wa je fini mon project so yesterday evening i finished my project it's a one time action in the past let's go to lamp parfait lamp parfait is also a past tense how do we form it we take new form present tense remove the ons and add the endings ais ais ait iones iz aient it is used for repetitive action in the past habitual action state of mind weather etc now let's take an example quand j'étais jeune when i was young je nageais chaque weekend i used to go swimming every weekend so this shows a repetitive action in the past so we use both lamp parfait plus lamp parfait no dormir quand le téléphone a sonné so what were we doing we were sleeping when the phone rang so it is possible that you have a continuous action interrupted by a short action conditional present conditional present is used to ask questions politely generally we use the verb vouloir pouvoir and aimer so let's take an example first of all before the example how do we conjugate it we take the future stem or the future base and lamp parfait endings so here we've got pouvoir vous me montrez le chemin s'il vous plaît can you please show me the road please so pourriez here we have to take the future stem this is irregular so you take the future stem plus lamp parfait ending could you please show me the road imperative imperative is used for a command or an order and my indicator is no subject pronoun so faire attention s'il vous plaît pay attention please now don't get confused here also we have s'il vous plaît there also s'il vous plaît but conditional present is generally asking a question politely i hope you have understood the indicators of ton convenable with some of the tenses that i have just revised today in the description box there will be a list of the indicators the description box also will have a quiz on the same and link to my padlet and my website like share and subscribe to my channel au revoir et à bientôt